Hello and welcome to the 123rd episode of T-SARP, also known as T-SARP 123, the children's version of T-SARP. And today, our co-hosts are Sam and Steven. My name is Steven, and also, hi Sam. My name is Steven, no, my name is Sam, and hi <laughs> Steven. <laughs> wow. I think he has dementia. I said it was the children's version of T-SARP, though T-SARP is a podcast run by children. Uh, <laughs> so it might be hard to get a little more childish than that, but... Yeah, so today, the high school banners got released for the high school code conquest. And they look pretty cool, I didn't get to see all of them. And I don't think all of them are out yet. No, there's still a few more schools that need to submit. Um, Hop Hugs is up there. It's definitely interesting, let's put it that way. Um, there's a lot of cool ones there. ESM is pretty cool, though theirs is pretty simplistic. So, yeah. Um, but, there, yeah, there are a lot of cool ones. Um, yeah, I, I would definitely take a look for them yourselves, because, what is it, how many teams are there? I don't know the exact number, but I know that it's a lot. I think it might be more than the UE. I'll have to do a wow. count. Um oh. Yeah, I know the UE was a lot, you know. Uh, what was it? It was 18, right? Yeah, 18 yeah. teams. No, I think, I, I think high school and UE are tied. I just did a count. I think it's like 18 for both. Um, I don't know the lot. exact number, though. Don't quote me on that. But Getting yeah, that. <laughs> now that the UE division is over, it's crossed out on the website. And the replay has been added, so you can look at the replay of Ring of Fire at East Williston Division UE, and the winning team was Bayville Intelligency. Intelligency? Intelligence <laughs> Agency. I hope you had already learned the outcome, and I didn't just spoil it for you there, but... Yeah. The past two, like, banner art, you know, like, cover art for the hackathons have followed the same pattern, and they're both, yeah. like, different from the rest. Like, I they, think... I think someone else is designing them. Like, maybe Mental Jinx is on it again. Yeah, I don't even... Like, they kind of look like... Not pre create Like, like other... <laughs> like, they didn't make these, you know? It looks like they just put their text over them. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I like the old... The old ones look really cool. I mean, the steampunk one was really cool. But these are, too. I like Life on a Chip. I think Ring, Ring of Fire is pretty cool. Yeah, they're all pretty cool. And, um, yeah, so you can watch the replay. I was wondering if it was going to be, like, kind of weird because it ended in a tie. But no, it wor it works exactly as it used to, you know, or s still does. You just watch the replay. And then, like, you d it doesn't... What would be cool if it came up, like, over time, like, five minutes or, you know, oh, so yeah, people... Cool. Yeah, because you might not realize that if you weren't watching. Like, if you weren't there. Do it now. T-SARP? <laughs> T-SARP? Oh, <laughs> we are. Oh well. Sarp um, <laughs> welcome back to the Kidoyo podcast. So today, T Sarp released a new Python three editor. Uh, <laughs> oops. Um. Mm. Oh yeah. So actually, today is the first day in a while there isn't Python three editor news. No new updates. No. no really talking about it. Um, no new bugs, which is probably a good thing. Um, so yeah, that that's just stayed normal today. Dev hasn't even posted a lot today. Like like uh -oh. Kidoyo has just. I wonder if they just like all took a vacation. Like nothing besides the banners. Like was They're posted. They're at Mentor Trisha's beach house. Yeah, in Florida. <laughs> Who knows? She probably does. She might not live on a beach, but we don't know. Um, also, for anyone that just owns the passport um, and didn't even know about Code Li, Dev posted a while ago in Kidoyo Game Dev that the new Python 3 editor is in Code Li. Um, I don't know why, like, they didn't put it in the other passport communities. I guess they just wanted, like, all the feedback to stay in one place. I, I guess that is why. They didn't want to have to search through all the communities, so they only yeah, put it Yeah, it'd be one. easier to manage, so it makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it is. Um, also, today, <laughs> uh, our teacher, Mr. Ferrara, had a thought, and I think since, you know, sometimes Kidoyo mentors and people listen to this, I thought this would be a good outlet. So today he mentioned that he wants more Kidoyo like, community themes, because there's only a set amount, and, like, they're not all that different. And, like, not even just more preset themes, 
like more like you can just customize everything like customize the font customize that color um i think like yeah i mean it shouldn't take a lot of editing you know but i think that would be a cool thing if you could just change every little different thing about your community or even where things are placed you know as you get into more of that, you know, it might get more complicated. And, of course, Kidoyo is focusing on hackathons and on new editors and so much more. So, of course, this is not top of the priority. This is, like, after hackathon season, if they're, like, you know, put it on the to-do list for something to do, you know. Um, or, like, yeah, I had a thought for, like, student mentor projects. But, you know, it, it at some point it gets too far into, like, you can't have a student mentor work on, like, base Kidoyo features because it just gets complicated with managing and stuff. But, you know, it would be cool if, like, student mentors could be like, hey, I have this feature for Kidoyo, but, like, n everyone's busy doing something else. I'm going to make it, and if they like it, they can add it, you know. That would be cool, though it logistically it would be hard because you would need Kidoyo's code, and Kidoyo's not just going to give everyone their code. So yeah. that that's the main problem there. But it would I'd be cool. I'd give you my code. <laughs> yeah, for Steven's uh, games, you know. It's, I think Kidoyo might be on a larger scale than a Hatch game. A bit larger, a bit larger. Maybe not, maybe. Maybe bit. it is a Hatch game, just using cloud variables for everything, and no Who's one realized. Joseph, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, so that, that's, that's my day that's my thought of what kidoyo should do in their spare time even though they're extremely busy doing a lot more important things uh, <laughs> also gimkit news today actually big Gim gimkit news gimkit creative wow. is what is it is it it's coming may 11th yes coming may 11th that's one day after fall guys creative <laughs> oh crazy yeah. i wonder why so many people are making creative modes you think kidoyo creative mode is next how about Jetpack Jack creative mode? How about Turtle yeah, Guys yeah, creative yeah. mode? How about <laughs> How about in brackets website creative mode? Um, I don't even I know what that would that. be. You just have to have access. Yeah. Also, there's a free new game called Joe, and it's a co uh, it's a thing of coffee. Joseph. 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 You're there. <laughs> Crazy. So yeah. That's the Gimkit news for today. It wouldn't be a T-Sarp episode if there wasn't Gimkit news. AI has still not been a very prevalent topic on T-Sarp for a long time. OpenAI just hasn't released any new chat GPT features. Yeah. You know, after GPT-4, then, you know, the plugins, you know, that was really it. And those aren't even out to everyone. You gotta get the, the plus. But, you know, I'm thinking about it. You know, I've thought about it. I don't think I would subscribe every month i think i would just do one month just to see what it's like but you know now it's piquing my interest i don't know if plugins are for everyone that has plus or like you still need to join the beta i'm not completely sure about that um but like if i could clarify that maybe i would do it just for like a t-sarp episode though we get no income from t-sarp there's no sponsors uh, the only in income we get is kidoyo stickers <laughs> that's our main and mentor tokens i was joking with joseph actually today he's like so like what do you guys get paid you know and i was like actually it's one mentor token a month which equates to like a cent so you know and you can't convert that back to regular currency but we're really making the living here in yeah. about 60 months i can submit for my first challenge with just tsar <laughs> mentor tokens Wow. Oh, well, thank you all for listening today, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.